everyone and welcome back. If you're going into a biology session, whether it's IGCSE or A-levels, you're most definitely going to face a question regarding the drawing of a biology diagram. So in this video, we're going to be talking about some mistakes to avoid while drawing a biology diagram with Muniran Bezid. To start off, here is a question that we're going to be using as an example for this video. It's from the O-Level Biology course, Paper 6, Variant 1, October-November Session 2017. Figure 2.1 is a photomicrograph of some blood cells. Make a large drawing of the two cells labeled phagocytes in figure 2.1. So the first thing we're going to have to do is locate those two cells. Then we'll have to start drawing. While drawing, there are four things you'd have to consider. These are all stated in this acronym called SOLD. S stands for size, O stands for outline, L stands for labels, and D stands for details. Now let's go back to the question. Here's my final drawing. Now let's take a look at each letter in the acronym and see how I applied it on the drawing. First, we have the size. The image that you draw should be far larger than the one you're given, at least two thirds the size of the original. Another thing you have to consider is the size ratio between the two cells. In figure 2.1, the monocyte is larger than the neutrophil, so this will have to be shown in your drawing. Next, we have the outline. You need a solid, smooth outline with no feathery lines. Here's a clearer picture. You can see the outline on the left one is not solid and the pencil is kind of faded, whereas the right one is very clear and precise. Then we have the labels. Even though labels are not always required in the mark scheme, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Having at least two labels is enough. However, another thing to notice is the way you label. Labels should always be a straight line with no curves or cuts. Lastly, we have details. When drawing, you should not shade whatsoever, even though shading might make the drawing look more lifelike. Also, as we all know, these cells do not only have the nucleus, but they also have other organelles. However, these other organelles are not shown in the original diagram, so you should not draw them in your drawing. Now, let's recap everything we've done with a checklist. My drawing takes up at least two-thirds of the blank space. The outline is smooth and clear. I have two or more labels, and they're all labeled with a straight line. There is no shading and no extra details. And there you have it, four full marks. You can pause and take a look at the mark scheme here and see that we've done everything they asked for. Here are some more examples of the biology diagrams with a year and variant. That's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it and thank you for watching.